References allow us to create a master file, and we can then reference that file in other files. And if we make a change to the master file, we then have the ability to update and make those changes to the files that are referencing it. So we're going to use Kusi as an example here. We're just on that main file for her. And I want to come over here and I'm going to click on her bone layer. And right at the top of the layers panel, you'll see next to the trash can, we have the ability to reference a layer. So we're going to go ahead and click on reference layer. Now at first glance, what this does is it creates a duplicate. And that's essentially what's happening here. You can see we have Kusi 1 and 2. And if I grab the transform layer tool here and just bring it over, you'll see that we indeed have two Kusis. Now, one thing to point out with the layers panel is the original has this red target and the duplicate has a green arrow. And what this means is the original here is the target, meaning that's the original file. The green arrow means it's being referenced, that this is a reference, and in this case, it's referencing this particular rig. So if I were to come in here, and let's say I want to change just the colors, I'm going to come over here and click on the body, and this is the original. This is not the reference. I'm working within the original here. I'm just going to come up here and change the fill color really quick. Let's do something purple like that and click OK. You'll notice right when I do this that Kusi, the copy, updates. And that's because it's referencing the original. If you come in here and go to the leg and again just keep going, you'll see that it's just going to continue to adhere to what we're doing. And the green arrow indicates that everything is good and that this is reflecting the copy. However, if I were to come in here to the reference, and we go to, let's just say, leg one right here, and we make a change. So I'm gonna come in here, click on this, and I'm just gonna use a different color than what we've been using, just for the sake of reference here. So go ahead and click OK. Now, you'll see that it doesn't go both ways. We have what appears to be here, a different colored leg, but it doesn't go the opposite direction. So that's one thing to keep in mind. The reference will adhere to the original. However, if you make changes to the reference, it won't go in the opposite direction. Also, if you are working on a reference and you decide at some point, I really don't want this to keep changing because perhaps maybe you're over here and you're working on the hand and you want to give her a glove or something and you're starting to color things in differently, maybe a red glove, and you can see here I'm changing the finger colors here. Let's say at some point you're like, I really don't want that to be referencing anymore. Well, we can come over here to Kusi 2, and you could choose any of these layers. Maybe the hand is just one that you don't want to be messed with. You could come over here to your hand and right-click and choose to break the layer reference. So when you do this, now if you were to come in and make changes to the hand on the Kusi layer right here. So if I come in here, I'm going to make a change to this part of the hand, click OK. You can see I'm doing that, but it's not now updating on this hand because we broke the reference. And finally, if you'd like to break the reference entirely and not just on individual layers, go to your main layer, in this case, the Kusi bone layer, right click, and then choose to break layer reference. And you can see now it'll all be broken, meaning this is now an independent layer that can be adjusted and it won't be updated based on what we do with the original. So now we're going to try this with an external document and it's very similar. So first, I'm actually going to just revert this document back. So go up here to File and Revert and Revert. So now we just have Kusi back, there's no changes and everything is good to go. I want to come over here to another document. In this case, we're just going to look at the forest scene here. And I want to come in here and import Kusi. So we can use Control Shift Y or Command Shift Y to do a general import. And I'm going to locate Kusi from the list. So double click. And here we can choose to import the rig by clicking on Kusi on the left. But you'll also notice on the bottom right, we have the ability to choose to import by reference. And that's what we want to do here. So we're going to go ahead and import by reference and click OK. So now 
once again, we have these green arrows in place, indicating that it's referencing something, but right now everything is up to date and good to go. So now I'm going to come back over here to the Kusi document and let's go here to the body once again. I just think this is probably the easiest way to make a change. And we're going to come over here to the fill color and let's just change this now to a darker blue, something like that. And we could even go in here with the legs and just make sure we have everything set to that dark blue color. Okay. And we could have keep going, but I think this is fine for what it is. Now, nothing is going to happen here until you save this file. So once you save the master file, and if we come back now to the file we're working on, you'll notice now that Kusi's arrow is red, not green. This means a change has been made to the master file, the file that we're referencing. So to fix this, we can right click on that layer, and come down and update layer reference. Here, it's going to ask you some questions. If you want to add new layers from the original, perhaps we've added new layers since then, we can choose to add them into this reference. We can remove layers that don't exist in the original. We can replace mismatched vectors as well as mismatched bones. So even when you are updating, you can choose kind of what you want to update here when you're working with separate files. So once you're good, we can go ahead and click OK, and you can see the change has now been applied. So from there, you can see we have a green arrow once again, and you could continue your work. Maybe at some point you add in smart actions, you add in different bones, whatever the case is, you can go in make changes to the main file, and then update them on the scene. And that's basically how all this works. If you're referencing on the same document, you'll see the changes happen in real time. If you are working with separate documents, you're going to have to prompt your rig to update and to read the master file in order for it to work. And finally, make sure that you save your master file before you try updating your reference. Otherwise, Moho won't be able to update that file. So hopefully that makes a little bit of sense and references can be very powerful and very useful, especially for bigger and more complicated productions. Having a master rig and being able to make those changes to all of your other scenes is a great help.